Hey guys, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com. Thanks as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by AromaCup.com. I have a exclusive video for you today. I know we say that a lot, but we're going to be talking about a machine today that is a little bit hard to get your hands on and a lot of folks are going to be really interested in. And we're talking about the Keurig Revo R500 Espresso Brewing Machine. Been pretty impressed with the machine. We've been playing with it here in the studio, and so we're gonna tell you guys everything that we can about it, show you how it works, and give you an overview of all of its features. So let's dive in, talk about the new Keurig Revo R500 Espresso Brewing System. So let's start first off by talking about what's in the box, as we always do. We get, of course, the Keurig Revo R500 Espresso Machine. This is a pretty hefty machine. It's a little heavy to pick up. <laughs> so you're gonna need a little bit of counter space, but definitely a very cool machine. Inside the box, you also have your documentation, your let's begin, and then you've got uh, some more information right here. You actually get a coupon. Uh, in this pack, we got a coupon for milk, which is interesting. Uh, some other notes about just how to use the machine and some recipes. And then finally, there's a variety of 12 Riva Espresso packs right here, and we've used one. But you're gonna open this up and you're gonna see the four different types of Revo packs. And that's pretty much everything that comes in the box. Very straightforward and easy to set up. So let's start talking about the Revo itself, how we set it up and make use of it. All right, so we've disassembled the Revo uh, R500 here to just kind of show you the parts and we'll put it back together as we talk about each of the parts. The tray is pretty straightforward. It has a capture bin for your spent Revo packs. And then it also has a fold down tray on it for being able to utilize small espresso shot glasses. The primary tray is this plastic silver tray which sits uh, just into the main body of the tray. It will fill up with water as you use it and you're gonna notice that it has a small floater. That little floater is going to float upwards when you've filled the tank. The tray sits inside of the machine very easily. You just slide it in. And this way you can remove it in order to empty out your spent Revo packs. The water tank is, it's a little bit small, I think, um, but again, you're brewing espresso, so really you're not going to need a ton of water. Uh, it's real easy to remove and fill, just has this simple lid on it and you can simply fill it up. Tank sits right on the body of the machine and locks down. You could also fill this obviously by just removing the lid and filling it up while it's attached to the machine. That's real easy to do. Uh, now, let's move to uh, my left hand side of the machine here and talk about one of the very cool innovative features on this machine and that is the milk frothing pitcher. Now, I've, I've got the pitcher right here and it's pretty straightforward if we take it apart you're going to notice that it has a frothing whisk here. It looks a lot like the whisks that we've seen on most milk frothers that we've worked with. And it has this tube. This tube is, is going to help to infuse air into the milk. In order to use it, you just simply place that down and onto the pitcher. It sits on it because there's a notch which keeps it on. And then it has a max fill and a minimum fill line on it. So that lets you know, of course, how much milk you need to put in in order to make the beverage you would like to make. Now, this pitcher sits pretty easily onto the unit. You can simply slide it in. And if the machine is turned on, this machine will turn itself off after two minutes. But if the machine is turned on, you hear it beeping right there, which should mean that it's ready to brew. If we take out the milk pitcher and push it in, we're gonna hear a small beep. That little beep lets us know that we're ready to start frothing milk. We'll talk about doing that in a moment. So that's a pretty cool feature and it does increase the size of the machine because again, this whole left side sort of has to be dedicated to frothing milk. But the cool thing is you're gonna be able to do all of these features in one. So that's pretty much the front of the machine. Let's move up and talk about the controls on the top of the machine. All right, so here we have the buttons and uh, they're all backlit, which is cool. They have, they're made of rubber, so they have a little bit of grippiness to them. And this is where you're actually going to control your brew. Now you have two espresso shot options. You can do a short and a lungo. Uh, a short is 1.4 ounces and a lungo is going to be 2.8 ounces. So pretty standard when you come right down to it. Above those three buttons, you have your milk frothing buttons. 
and uh, you've got a cappuccino and a latte. They're pretty self-explanatory because they look like what you expect with those beverages. A cappuccino has more froth and a latte has less. And then you also have a cold froth button. So if you want to just froth milk, but of course not heat it up, you can use that button for that. So you can see they're nice and backlit. They blink when the machine is in ready to brew mode. So it's very cool and easy. You don't need uh, an LCD screen or anything like that to really operate this machine. Now the pressure pump in the Revo is a 15 bar pressure pump. So that's the standard for an average pressure pump in an espresso machine. We've seen higher in some machines going up to 19 bar, but 15 is the minimum at least required uh, pressure amount in order to get a good pull of espresso. And of course, you're also going to be using that pressure to froth your milk in, uh, in many different ways. So all of that put together leads us up to the top of the machine on the very, very top. And this is where you put your uh, Revo packs. This is pretty straightforward. Again, it opens up and you insert a pod just as what we're used to with most single serve machines. It's got a lot of heft to it. It's metal eye, it's, it's actual metal, which is cool. And it really locks down on top of that pack in order to puncture it. Now, when you're done brewing, that empty pack is going to drop into that tray that I show you guys earlier. And then you can continue brewing or of course move on and just have your beverage. Let's talk about brewing some espresso using the R500. It's really easy to do. Now, as I say, we have now another entry into the world of coffee pods. There's essentially probably going to be hundreds in the future, we would think, right? But this is the newest one. This is the Revo pack. Uh, they come in these boxes. As I say, you're going to get a sample pack with the R500, but you're going to want to get more, and so you can buy them in, a, in these packs of 18. Now, let's just show you the pod real quick. Now, it obviously is pretty slim, and that's because with espresso, you're not going to need uh, as much coffee, obviously, in order to get the flavor that you're looking for. So it's very slim. It's vacuum sealed, has a foil uh, top on it, and each one, of course, is going to be labeled with the type of coffee that is in it. Now, in order to brew, all we need to do is open up the R500, and we're going to take our Revo pack, and we just place it into the R500 essentially in any direction. There's no special direction needs to go or anything like that. Just place it in, and then we're going to close it up, and that's going to puncture it. Now, again, I need to power the machine on. The machine has a two-minute auto uh, time off, so it will turn itself off after two minutes. So if you're going to be using it over the course of the day, you're probably going to be turning it on and off a lot. That's okay. It's going to save energy, which is good. Now, we're going to go ahead and brew some espresso. I'm just going to put a simple regular size mug right here, and we will do a, a, a lungo this time. Again, 2.8 ounces. We're just going to simply press that button. The machine beeps, the pump starts going, and it's going to start brewing our coffee. It's definitely fast, and it's not loud. I do like that. That pressure pump is, again, 15 bar, which is a lot of pressure, but I've heard some machines that really, I mean, I have to talk louder over them. This one does not have that. So it's nice that it's not a very loud operating machine. And the pull of espresso definitely looks impressive, I have to say. You get that nice layering, and I'll show that to you when this is all done. Now, the cool thing about this machine is that you can actually froth real milk using the R500. There's our espresso shot. You can see nice and layered, have a good crema right there. And again, that is a Lungo shot. Uh, if I open up the pod uh, collector right there, I'm going to empty that spent pod down and into the tray. Now we're ready to go ahead and froth some milk. Let's pull out the frothing pitcher, and we're going to fill this up with a little bit of milk. Just take that lid right off, and we'll fill this up, and we'll go ahead and go. We're going to make a latte, so we're going to do the max fill line right here, just about. Make sure you not overdo it, because if you overdo it, you're typically not going to get the froth that you expect. Now, simply just take our lid, and we're going to place it back onto the pitcher, and we're going to slide it into the frothing bay. Now, again, you're going to hear it beep. You need to listen for that beep. When you hear that beep, that means that the machine is ready to froth your milk. And now we're going to choose our froth. Again, I'm going to do a latte, so I'm going to use the center button right here. And now it very simply starts spinning and frothing our milk. That whisk is doing the job as well as there is pressure uh, being uh, injected into the milk. And that air is going to give you the actual bubbles that you expect off of froth milk. 
The heat of that espresso combined with the heat of your milk should give you a nice hot beverage. And when our milk is done, which it is done right now, we'll measure the temperature of that as well. So let's go ahead and take out our frothing pitcher. Again, it's quick, which I really like. It beeps at you when it's done. So if you happen to step out of the kitchen or something like that, you're going to know when it is all finished uh, actually frothing your milk. And this is our frothed milk. And you can see it is actual frothed milk. I actually have foam happening here, which is great. This is real frothed milk, not a powder or anything like that. Let's test the temperature of this as well. About 150, 155 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty good. Uh, you know, that's combined, of course, with the heat of your espresso, should give you a pretty good beverage. And there you go. And again, one more time, let's just check our overall temperature right here. I think we should get probably just somewhere up to about 160 degrees Fahrenheit, which we're pretty close to, about 150, 155. So it's not too bad. Again, going to give you a nice hot beverage, which is pretty important. There's nothing that is more of a drag than uh, a cold beverage if you did not expect a cold beverage. And that's a latte out of the R500. I got to say, it's pretty impressive. It looks good. It tastes quite good as well. Let's talk about pricing on the R500 and the pods, because we know a lot of folks are interested in the cost of the pods. Because anytime there's a new pod, we expect for them to be quite expensive or something like that to maybe add to the cost of the machine. So let's talk about the overall cost. $229 for the R500, which I think is pretty darn good actually. If you were to buy a separate espresso machine, a separate milk frother, you would probably spend well over $229. So for a one-stop shop for doing everything you need to do, making espresso-based beverages, not too bad at $229. For the pods, you're looking at 18 pods, a box of 18, for about $15. So about 83 cents a pod, that's pretty good uh, when you come right down to it. And so overall, you're not actually spending too much, I think, to be able to get into a machine that's a cool one-stop shop for single-serve espresso. Uh, the cost is definitely not too bad, again, when compared to maybe buying all of these components separately and things like that. Now, if you want to find out how you can buy everything you need for the R500, the pods, and the machine itself, check out the description in our video. You can find out some ways that you can add this machine to your own at-home coffee shop. All right, so let's do the bottom line on the R500. We pretty much outlined everything on the machine, so we won't really go through a lot of that again. The bottom line is if you want a one-stop shop, single-serve espresso machine that's going to allow you to take care of your milk frothing and your espresso brewing, I think this is a really great way to do it. The cool thing uh, is, of course, you can make your own milk froth with this machine and you can use any milk that you want. You can use soy, you can use almond, you can use regular milk, you can use lactose free milk. You have a lot of different options because that is a real milk frother attached to the R500. The pods work very nicely, very easily, make a great shot of espresso I think and you get a lot of different options for the beverages that you can make. So bottom line, I would say for the value, great machine. Nice entry by Keurig, definitely a cool way to get into the world of brewing your own espresso at home you may need to add, again, a single-serve coffee machine alongside this one if you want to be of regular coffee as well as your espresso. But overall, great value, I think, for the machine itself. So there you go, guys. That's an overview of the Keurig Revo R500 uh, single-serve espresso machine. Pretty impressed. I hope that this has been useful to you guys. If you have questions, comments, please feel free to leave them in the description of our video. Visit us at aromacup.com where you can join us, talk about coffee, and of course, Find ways that you can save money on machines like the Revo and other single-serve coffee machines. Find recipes and everything you need to know to help demystify the world of coffee. I'm Brian with AromaCup.com. I want to thank you guys for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop. And I will see you guys next time. Please enjoy your cup and take care.